Hey guys, welcome back. Whenever we work in Jenkins or CI CD setup, we need to integrate that particular tool in Jenkins. Today we'll see how we can integrate Ansible in Jenkins and execute the playbook by writing the pipeline script. So let's start. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe now. To integrate Ansible in Jenkins, we need Ansible plugin to be installed in the Jenkins server first. So let's start. Let me log into my Jenkins server. So once you log in, go to manage Jenkins and manage plugins. Search for in the available plugin section, search for Ansible. So you'll get this Ansible plugin. So I already have installed Ansible plugins. So if I go to installed plugins here in this server, if I search for Ansible, so you can see here, this particular Ansible plugin, we need to install first in Jenkins. I hope you are familiar with Ansible plugin installations. So what I can do, can install this plugin. So once the plugin installation is complete, what we can do, go to the manage Jenkins again, and then set up the Ansible tools. So make sure that Ansible tool is already been installed on that server. Okay, so once the Ansible is installed, what you can do here, go to the global tool configurations. If I go down here, you'll find Ansible sections. As soon as you install that plugin, you'll get this Ansible option available here. So click on this Ansible installations and give a name to the Ansible. Suppose I have given like Ansible and you have to provide the path to the Ansible executables. It will be normally user slash bin directory. So once you provide this particular directly, just save this one. Once you save it, it is now done. The setup is now done. So what we have to do, we need to generate the pipeline script. In my previous videos, um, of a few of my videos, I already have shown you how to generate the pipeline script by using the snippet generator. The same thing we are going to do today. Okay. So um, for that, what we can do, let's go ahead and create a job first. And in this job, I'll show you how we can create the snippet, um, the, the pipeline script using the snippet generator and using the particular pipeline. So let's go ahead and click on the new item. Just give like, suppose I'll give like Jenkins Ansible, like Jenkins Ansible, something like this. And let's create pipeline job, right? Okay. And you can provide the descriptions, whatever you want, as per your requirement. I'm then not going to do anything else. I'm going to show you how we can write the pipeline script. Okay. So here, Either you can write a Jenkins file and uh, put it in the source code management and use this one, or you can directly write the code here itself. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you how we can write the pipeline script here directly. And using the pipeline syntax, you can see here, the snippet generator, you can generate the code. So we can start the pipeline writing, right? So and I can just put the agent any. That means I want this particular script to run on this master machines where the Ansible is installed. Okay. Now what I know, I have to simply give the stages. Give stages. You can put like uh, in the stage. I can put like uh, um, execute playbook. Execute. Okay. Now, what I can do, I have to add the steps. So, in the steps, so I have to add the particular Ansible pipeline script here to execute the Ansible, right? In that particular server. So, what, how we we'll generate this code? If I go here in the pipeline syntax, uh, in the snippet generator, okay, you can see here the Ansible 
steps. We have lots of right plugins and their respective core available to generate the code. For Ansible Playbook, I can select this Ansible Playbook, invoke and Ansible Playbook, select it. So this option will be available after you install the plugins, Ansible plugins, okay? So once you select this one, you have to provide the tool. Ansible tool, it will be automatically come. Uh, if you remember, I, I was showing you the Ansible tool set off in the global tool configurations, right? That option will automatically get fetched here. So you have to select it here. And you have to provide the playbook file path. So I have already created a playbook in my machine, okay? Um, so if I just log into my server, uh, just give me a second, I'll log into the server. Okay, so I hit enter. Okay, now I'm able to connect to my Jenkins server. So as I told before that I have installed the Ansible on my Jenkins server. So if you have in your organization or in your company, if you have a different Ansible server, so what you can do, you can simply, instead of using isn't any, you can give that isn't name where your Ansible is installed. So you can execute this playbook on that particular isn't. Okay, so I'm just showing you how you can integrate the stops. So now here, what we can do, we can simply give the playbook name. So if you, if I go here, um, so I've logged into the server. So if I go, it is in Ansible. Here I have written a playbook, very simple playbook. It's called deploy.yml file. And it is just having, um, let me just copy this file. It's just having a simple code like um, uh, just web server and just installing HTTPD server, okay? So let me just little modify this. So instead of HTTPD, let me just install Git server. And here, the module, I have to put it like, so I have to put Git here. And uh, you know how to use these modules and how to write the playbook, right? I'm not going to explain further on this. So this module, your module, to install the Git package. Now set this one, and we need to change the inventory file, right? For in our case, the inventory file will be the default inventory file, that is the hosts file. And it has one web server group I have created and one IP address of the server I have put it there. So if I go to my C2 instances, you can see this app server, which I'm, I just want the Git to be installed on this particular server and this is the ip addresses i have copied and put it there okay so our inventory is also ready both inventory and yaml file are present in the same directory so what i can do here in the pipeline snippet generator just put the path where your playbook available so give a playbook give the playbook name here yaml and just copy this inventory file name and our inventory file name is hosts the default one right hosts and the ssh connection credentials so this is most important guys to set up the credentials so i have already set up these credentials uh, um, for for ansible to connect okay so if you are not familiar with this one let me show you you can just go ahead add jenkins okay and here you can just do the like the domains will be there and you kind you can set up like ssh username with private key and just give it id here whatever id you can just want to put any id here okay description give the username the username should be ec2 type in user for imagine linux 2 and you have to select enter directly the private key and here you have to put the private key in this place so where you get the private key, whenever we create the uh, Linux machine, right, in imagine in AWS using the EC2 services, right, EC2 instances, we get one PIM file, a certificate file, the private key, right? That you have to just open and copy all the private key and paste it here. 
After that, simply add it. So once you add, it will be added. Okay. Now I already have added the SSH, SSH credentials. Let me just add this one. Suppose this one I want to select it. So once you add this SSH credentials, go ahead and the rest of the things leave as it is and um, select this disable the host SSH key check. Okay. So make sure everything is uh, okay. You have given all the things required things. Let's go ahead and click on the generate pipeline script. So here, here is the script. Here is the script. Just copy this one and go to your pipeline script and put it here. Simple, right? Now, what I can do, then now let's save this one. Good. Our job, Jenkins Ansible job is created and it has never run. Let me start building it now. If I click build now, you can see the job has started triggering. Let's check the logs. If I go and check the logs here, see what happens. It just connected to the server and we can see here, our Ansible playbook has been run successfully. So now we can see here, the Git has been installed successfully. To verify, let me just log into the server, okay? This is the server, right? Let me just log into the server. And we can verify whether it has been installed or not. So we have now logged into the server, the node machine where uh, our playbook has been executed. So if I do git here, see, the git has been installed, okay? So the latest version of the git has been installed. See, this is the one. So now you saw how we can integrate Ansible in Jenkins, and we can write the pipeline script to execute the playbook on the respective node machine. Hope you understood clearly. If you have any doubt or any questions, please do write in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your queries. If you have not subscribed yet my channel, please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my channels. Thank you.